Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a full face, except one product, and you'll see why in the video, but a full face using products from the brand Beauty For Real. I had the privilege of going down to their headquarters last week. I got to meet Leslie, the founder, and she's a celebrity makeup artist, and she founded this brand, and it was just such an interesting story that I really got to connect with her and really learn about these products to the point where I really wanted to test them out. She sent me home with a full face worth of product to test out and play with, and I wanted to do a full review on my channel for you guys. This is not a sponsored video. I am not getting paid to say any of this. I simply wanted to put a really large basket of product to the test. So I did use Everything Beauty For Real to create this look right here today. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out, but there are one or two products I didn't absolutely love, so make sure to stay tuned if you want to see my thoughts on that. Uh, I do want to let you know that I do upload five times a week, so make sure to subscribe, because that is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you want to see how all of these products came together to create this look right here, and I am going to tell you I used cream bronzer, cream highlight, and cream blush today. And if you've been on my channel, you know I do not like any of those types of products, and I love the way the skin is looking. So if you want to see me be proven wrong about some cream products, stay tuned. All right, so before we jump right into the video, I did want to give you guys a little bit of backstory on the brand because, like I said, I did get to sit down with Leslie, who is a celebrity makeup artist and the CEO, president, founder of this brand, and I got to hear a little bit of her story, and I thought it was really awesome. The fact that she is a celebrity makeup artist, she's been in the business for over 30 years, she has done some really high-profile celebrities, including a lot of athletes. Venus and Serena Williams are among her clients, which I think is really cool. So the fact that I got to sit down with somebody and have a conversation about makeup when she has genuinely like touched the faces of some amazing celebrities, and her work is beautiful. I love how fresh face she looked, so I did want to go a little bit less like over the top drag like I normally do and I wanted to kind of tone everything down soft and perfected because she is very old school to the fact where whenever I've seen pictures of her clients or when I was just talking to her about her makeup aesthetic everything was a little on the editorial side but everything was clean and crisp and beautifully done so I did want to emulate that today and not go super overboard and really just play with makeup so without further ado I'm going to jump right into the first product all right, so I don't know if I said it in the intro because I never film my intro first, but I am kind of coming down with something, so my voice is going to be a little spilkissy. That's a word, I promise. Um, so as I said in the title, we're going to be doing a full face of Beauty For Real products. I recently had the privilege of going to their headquarters down in Miami. I met with Leslie, the founder, who is honestly so much fun to talk to, and she sent me home with an entire full face worth of goodies, so we're going to be putting all of them to the test right now. So I'm going to start, this is the Beauty For Real and Brooke USA uh, Lip Balm in the shade Casey. And I am going to put this on just to prep the lips. I actually really like how tinted that is, like it's super lightweight. I am going in with like a vampier lip today. So if I was going in with something a little more nude, this might not be like a base. But it's got a really nice vanilla scent. Uh, I don't know if I said this in the intro, but this is not sponsored. They did give me all of this stuff, but none of it, this is not paid, all the opinions are my own. So next I'm gonna be jumping into the MVP Perfect and Protect. This is going to be a tinted moisturizer, concealer, SPF 25, physical sunscreen, plus primer, all in one. So this is gonna be basically all complexion at once. So in the tube, there's going to be the, rude, someone's alarm's going off. Concealers in the cap, foundation is kind of underneath, so I'm going to use both of those today. I need a foundation brush. So I'm going to grab a foundation brush, take a little bit of this. Now this is like the only item here that's not a first impressions, because I have used this before on more than one occasion. So the one thing I will say is that right out of the tube it does look very yellow, but it shears out very nicely. Uh, this is the shade Fair, and again, you see how it looks way too light? Once I blend that out, that's going to really blend into the skin. This 
Then on the other side, grabbing the concealer, I'm gonna take that right onto my concealer brush. And I'm just going to brighten the under eyes and all of the areas that I typically put my concealer. And you guys know I do always like to apply with a brush and then finesse it with a sponge. So I am just taking the sponge and pressing everything into the skin. Now I do have a pressed powder here on deck. This is my Charlotte Tilbury powder just in case because a lot of the products I'm about to use I have not used yet and it claims that it doesn't need to be set and that it will kind of dry onto the skin beautifully but just to be safe I do have a pressed powder ready in case it starts to budge but the skin does not feel wet or tacky so I may not even need it on the tip of that sponge I'm going to take a tiny bit of the concealer and just cancel out any redness on my eyelids and use this as an eye primer today so based on how the face is feeling, I am going to skip the powder and instead go right into the next two products. So these are, and yes, I do have some notes here, so I wanna make sure I'm giving you guys the right information. This is the Blush and & Glow and Bronze & Glow Duo Sticks. Where is the, this is gonna be the bronzer. So on one side, it is a bronze tone. On the other side, it is a highlighter. And then the other one I have is a blush and a highlighter. I don't know if we're gonna use both highlighters, but we're gonna definitely use the bronzer and the highlight and the blush today. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this, just anywhere that I typically add a little bit of contour, which you guys know I'm not typically a fan of cream contours. And I'm gonna use that same foundation brush just to blend that out. That actually blended beautifully. I hope it's translating the same way on camera because in person, it's not picking up the foundation. It's just lightly sculpting the face. I wouldn't say that it is sheer because there's definitely pigment there, but it is sheer enough that it is blending out without looking muddy on the skin. That might be a really, like I might've found the first cream bronzer that I actually like. I'm actually really happy with how that looks. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into the blush now and I'm just gonna add a little bit to the apple of the cheeks. It's gonna look a little French whore clowny at first, but once we blend it out, if it works like that bronzer does, we shouldn't have any issues. We're just gonna pull that back towards the bronzer. Taking that sponge just to kind of press all of it in, blend it together. It doesn't look overboard or over the top. Everything is very fresh faced, but it's still pretty. It doesn't look underdone, but it doesn't look overdone. I'm definitely liking that. All right, for the highlighter, what are the two shades I have? I have High Tide and I have High Beam. Uh, this one looks a little bit more like rosy blush topper. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this down on the lower part of the cheek, almost as a blush topper. Then I'm gonna take the other of the two shades and I'm gonna add that to the higher point and under the brow bone. And then on that same brush, I'm just gonna kind of blend that over the cheek. It is definitely soft, but it is definitely a glow. I am gonna take a touch more of the blush, just because I think I went a little bit lighter than I wanted to, and a tiny bit more of the bronzer and just blend the two of those out. And then whatever's left of my brush, we're just gonna pat on the nose for that sun-kissed effect. So other than a pressed powder, the only thing that Beauty For Real doesn't have for a full face today is brows. So I'm gonna go throw my brows on off camera and I'll be right back. All right, brows are on, so time to move on to eyes. So this is gonna be the shadow stick. It's a 24 seven all day 
Latte is the shade. So this is a long wearing eyeshadow stick. I'm going to need a shadow brush. I'm gonna take this one. So I'm gonna start and I'm just going to take this. Let's twist it up a little bit, how about that? I'm just gonna lightly press this on the lid and trace the crease. Then grabbing a shadow brush, I'm just going to pat that in, make sure that it is smooth, and then I'm gonna blend it up the crease. And I blend it a little more than I should have, so I'm gonna build that shade up a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna blend out the crease just to diffuse that color and soften it. Because I love the way that these colors are gonna work together, I'm gonna take the eyeliner in in the navy which is going to be a navy liner and i'm going to throw that in the waterline and i'm just going to take a tiny bit of that purple on the tip of my brush and just blend and smoke out that blue a little bit all right i'm going to go do this on this eye and i'll be right back all right, so I am back. I did take a tiny bit of a transition shade just to blend out the crease. I wish I had grabbed when she offered more colors to take a lighter one just to really like diffuse. But all things considered, I do really like the way it turned out. Um, I am just gonna buff that purple up a little bit more. And then I'm gonna grab the eyeliner in the shade Heaven's Door, which is almost like an iridescent -y purple. And I'm gonna take that and just add it to the inner corner. And I am gonna take that a little bit onto the lid as well. And now that that is on and we've added a little bit of shine, I'm gonna go into the High Def Mascara in Jet Black. What I was most excited about with trying this is that it has like the smallest little applicator ever. So I feel like it's gonna get really tight to everything. And when I was talking to Leslie, the thing that she mentioned most is that the inside of the wand is actually hollow. So it holds enough formula to really get into your lashes. I should curl them first. I'm gonna curl my lashes first. So it is definitely a very wet formula, so I did get a little bit on my eye that I will have to touch up and fix later, just because I wasn't expecting it to be quite so liquidy. Which you guys know, I like a formula that's a little bit thicker and a little bit, not to say drier, but like a little bit more dry than this, which you guys know with most mascaras, I will open it, use it once, and then like close it for three weeks and then come back to it but I'm really liking what it's doing to my lashes. I just feel like I would love this mascara once it's aged a little bit. But I'm weird and I tend to like mascaras that are a little bit older. But I do love the effect that it's giving me. So I'm gonna go put this on the other eye, clean up the little bit of mascara that I fucked up, and I'll be right back. All right, mascara is on. I did clean up the uh, top of my lid. And I'm just gonna take a lash comb just to separate my lashes a little bit. Also, because the applicator was so tiny, I did take some mascara on my lower lash line, which you guys know I never do, because it always ends up looking like crap. And I actually really like how this wand performed on the waterline and the lower lashes. So I might have found Finally, after literal years of searching, a mascara that I can use on the lower lash line and not hate. So everything is looking a little bit soft, which I do really like. Um, when I'm looking at everything as a whole, I think that the skin looks perfected and it looks very, it, it looks glowy and dewy, but it doesn't feel sticky or oily. Everything, even the eyes, which I used quite a bit of the product, the color is there, but it's still a soft, smoky, sultry effect. So I think because everything is so soft, we can really get away with a nice bold lip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab, they do have three lip liners that are all in what they refer to as universal nudes. I have the light, the medium, and the deep. The deep is like more of a berry tone. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for today. Yeah. 
Now that the balm has been on for about 45-ish minutes, it's super comfortable. The color hasn't really faded. So I definitely think for like that out the door color, this will be a really great product. Plus it is a collaboration with Brook USA, which is an equestrian um, group that does a lot of great charity and a percentage of the proceeds from those lip balms do go to that. So I'm gonna grab the liner and just line my lips. So I did get some of the matte lipsticks, however, they don't really go with the color I want today, but I am going to take a gloss. This is the Rebel Rebel Lip Gloss, which is like the perfect vampy tone that I'm going for today. Yeah, that gloss with that lip liner is a beautiful combo. Now I'm going to have to double check. I don't believe it claims to be a plumping gloss. But I do have a little bit of that like minty tingle going on, which I'm not mad at. Uh, I did also get the shade Starlust, which is like literally the perfect sheer shiny color. I will be wearing this on its own pretty much daily if this is as comfortable as I think it is. But overall, like I'm really liking how it is. I'm going to take like 10 minutes off camera to go and walk around, see how this all settles in, and really get to the full hour mark before I really solidify whether or not I need to set it with a powder or a setting spray, or if we can keep it a full face of beauty for real. All right, I am back. I did take a little bit of powder just down the sides of my nose and the center of my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. Those are just the places I get the most oily. So it is not a problem that I had to do that because there's not a single foundation in existence that I put on and I don't set. But we even like ignoring that, I think everything looks really beautiful. There is not a single product here that I'm like, eh, take it or leave it. Like the blue liner, I recently filmed my BoxyCharm video and the liners in those videos were so disappointing that the fact that this one is so intense, like I was able to use it as an inner corner highlight and everything just looks super flawless and super perfected. Couple of notes, um, I loved the lip liner. I cannot wait to play with the other two shades because this really did pair nicely with the lip gloss, which is super comfortable. It's been about 10 minutes and I still have that like minty tingle. Again, it does not claim to be, or I don't believe it claims to be plumping, but that like refreshing tingle is really nice to let you know that it's still on. The liners are really pretty. I do have one in a green that I do want to play with because you guys know a green smoky eye is kind of my thing. So I did go purple, which is like my classic look because that's the shadow stick I had. That's probably the only product here that I'm not, not like head over heels in love with. I feel like this would be nice to pair with powder shadows. I tried to use it on its own and then I did have to take a powder shadow in there as well. I know there are some other colors, so I feel like getting the lighter one, it would have done what I did with the highlighter shade on the lid a little bit easier. But that being said, for someone like me who notoriously hates all like cream products and I always go in with powders. The fact that my contour, bronzer, blush, highlight, everything, even the skin, this is the only powder I used today and it was only a tiny bit just where I get oily to set things in place. Everything else is super natural, super dewy, glowy, healthy looking and perfected. Like I don't feel overdone, but I also don't feel like there's no makeup on my face. I feel like I could go out and feel like, oh, he put in effort and made his face look nice, as opposed to sometimes when I go in with that like glowy, dewy, barely there, it's like, what is the point? I'm going through all of this work for it to barely be noticeable. So honestly, I'm really loving everything. The shadow stick again is probably the one where I'm like, I don't love, love it, but I also notoriously hate shadow sticks. So it's kind of a win-win there, the fact that I like it, because I don't really like any shadow sticks. That being said, there are definitely some products in here that are going to be making their way into favorites and into my regular rotation. Specifically, I really like the way the balm felt and I'm loving the gloss. I cannot wait to wear the other shade I got. I feel like if I was to set down this powder blush, or this cream blush with a powder, it would really pop. So for those days where I want to be a little bit more extra, I might be taking some creams in just to kind of give everything a little bit more of that glam base. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will link everything down below so you can uh, check out the products if you're interested in picking them up. Again, this is not a sponsored video. Whatever I link down below are not affiliate links. It's not like they're paying me to say any of this. 
I'm playing with this because they were really generous and gave it to me and I really wanted to test it out because this was like the only product here today that I had previously used, which I did feature in a video a little while ago and I only showed you guys the concealer, not the foundation. I did want to mention while I'm remembering, there are only six shades, but you saw how yellow this was and once I applied it everywhere, it doesn't look super yellow, it looks like my tone. So based on the swatches they put online, figure out the shade that's gonna work best for you, but I promise the shades are super versatile, that I think if you have a super yellow undertone, a neutral undertone, or a really cool undertone like I do, as long as you get the right fair, medium, medium, deep, whatever shade, you will not have an issue finding your color. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.